Hi, I'm Pat Murphy Racy. I'm a Sony artisan of imagery. We woke up this morning to a gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful snow scene. Uh, we don't get a lot of snow here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and so it was kind of cool. And I thought, hey, this would be a good opportunity to do a video on how to expose snow scenes properly because it's, it's a tricky thing. And so let's get right into it. First of all, all cameras are set to find the proper exposure for 18% gray. That means that the light meters inside the cameras are designed to give a proper exposure for 18% gray. Now, people's complexion, uh, that is to say, white people, Caucasian, are 18% gray. And this is why oftentimes when you try and shoot African Americans or people with darker complected skin, it doesn't really work very well and you have to open up either by going to manual or by using exposure compensation. Snow scenes are nowhere near 18% gray, and so cameras always underexpose snow scenes. That's a fact. Histograms are something that people turn to a lot to try and figure out what the proper exposure is, especially if they're still using a DSLR. Um, it's much easier on a, on, a, on a mirrorless camera because what you see is what you get in the viewfinder in terms of exposure. But histograms will not help you with this issue is they assume a perfect exposure scene. So let's go ahead and take a look at a snow scene. This is my front yard and this is me. Sorry, you have to look at me. So this is what program mode does. Um, you can see that the snow is very, very gray. I am very underexposed. Uh, it's not, not pretty. So then if I go into manual exposure, you would think there'd be a change between the program mode and the manual mode, but there is no change at all. And there's a reason for this, and that's because we're still not fully in manual yet. What we have to do is turn off auto ISO. So now program mode is off, but we're still in program mode. So what we have to do is go to manual, and I've selected an exposure of 250 to F4 at 160 ISO. And because we're in manual exposure and auto exposure auto ISO is off, we are truly in manual now. And this is just my first guess as an exposure. It's not bad. It's much better than the scenes we saw before. But I think I'm still a little dark, as is the, the, the house in the background. Everything is a little dark. So this is at 3.5. We've gone from F4 to 3.5. And finally, we're going to take a look at F3.2. And here is where we get a proper exposure. So in manual mode, with auto ISO off, the proper exposure for the scene is 1 250th of a second shutter speed. The aperture is f3.2, and the ISO is 160. Now here's another look at what program mode would have done, 250th at 5.6 at 160. So the exposure is way, way off the mark. And so manual mode with auto ISO is really the best way to do snow scenes. So remember, go to manual first, then turn off auto ISO, set your exposure yourself so that the snow is actually white and not gray, paying close attention to skin tone if you have people in the scene, and finally, ignore the histogram. This is Pat Murphy Racy. I hope this is, you found this helpful. Have a great day and enjoy the snow.